We are here. We are here. We are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up GBP, JPY. We are on the 12 month time frame. Price action last came to the right hand side is a bullish green candle. A little larger than uh, a doji with the body, but it still hasn't engulfed the second last candle, so that market's consolidating. Current price is sitting at 168.927. So price work is way down. We're going to tag that overall lowest low of structure, which would be red and green for that tag, sitting at the numbers of 118.179. We're also going to have to grab the price action highest high of structure, which would be near the numbers of 531.220. Adding the midpoint. And that will be near the numbers of 339.619. Drop it down a little further. Let's go with 325.48. 85 adding the midpoint to second level lows so I'll be near the numbers of 223.402 and we're going to add another midpoint between second level lows and lower lower structure which would be near the numbers of One sixty three point seven two six. So let's zoom in, take a look at what's going on in that area. So we are receiving a pattern. So price action, as we can see, is pushing out of the midpoint between the second level lows and lower lows of structure. So it's trying to break the previous side. That pattern's forming. So we can see that formation of that. First, second, overall third leg, and we're gonna see if that mark's gonna push out and create that fourth leg. It may do a retest. It may identify a bearish red candle for a retest, so identify as a break, a retest, and the market could work its way up. Or it could just follow up in bullish green candles with this candle or the following candles can push up. The price work is way down. Where is it headed? So when the market tagged that second level lows and it broke into that area and came back to retest, that's the first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. So we have a double top and market came back to retest that double top. And that's why we see that first, second, third. And if it's denied at this area, or the little further up or around this area to the top side or bottom side, market can work its way from a double top and a double retest. Or we can receive that consolidation. So that consolidation can happen between the range of the midpoint of second level lows and lower, lower structure of that midpoint. So somewhere within this area can be consolidation depending on the candle headed down to the six month time frame so price action on the six month time frame is reading as a bullish green candle so if this market pushes up further it can head to the midpoint of the following area which would be near the numbers of 191.946 the price action come down, it can tag that midpoint of the follow area, lower lows of structure, and second level lows midpoint, which would be near the numbers of 140.266. And what we see in this area is what? 
market is coming out of a pattern. So overall is identified as first, second, third, and we're looking for that market to break this area here, that consolidation. So it's in the middle of the fourth leg. So when the market reaches up to that second level or that mid or the, the SR line that we're currently on, it retests and it can just push and break out and push up highs or it can consolidate a little more. But what we're looking for is the engulfment to the previous side. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom into price and we see if we can read the candles. And you want to see price action candle above the previous candle. Price action wick is above the previous wick. Price action candle is not a, it is above the previous candle body, but the price action wick is not above the previous wick. So there's like a resistance working its way down and then you have that support of the body working its way up so there's a wedge pattern that's going on in there and we'll see if we can identify it as we walk down the time frame but if we don't see that we do know that that market is doing what consolidating within the second or last candle of that retest candle we're waiting for the breakout three month time frame price action bullish green candle so it's reading as a Bullish green candle spike up to the high. So you're looking for price to engulf the third to last candle in the market, which is here. And if it doesn't, then we'll see that market tag that top, not just once with the price or the third last candle, but also with the fifth to last candle that created the what? First leg, second leg, third leg, market came back down, retest. And if it's denied at that area, market's working its way down from a overall triple top or we can see the market identify that first, second, third breakout. Okay, may follow up with a retest um, at the previous uh, support that it just broke or at the midpoint and then work its way up. But if price work its way up, it's headed to the next level, sitting at or landing at 177.380. So price can head to that following area on that three month time frame price action on the monthly time frame is reading at as a bullish a bearish red can do so we, we're looking to see how far this market is going to retest so it's already retested it can read so what's going in here can a price action can retest is retesting but it can respect the midpoint of the second last can to work its way up and if so identify as first second third fourth retest as we, as we currently on follow up the bullish green candle price is working its way back up okay formation of a, a double bottom we're gonna wait to the weekly time frame So price action weekly time frame, all we're looking for right now is the breakout of the top of that resistance of the third to last candle and the bottom of that support if it works its way down through the bottom of that third to last candle. So anything within it is consolidation. So far, price action second to last candle has respected the midpoint line when it came to the second to last, third to last candle in the market. It respected with the spikes. We look for price action body to start breaking through. Once that body start breaking through, then it can work its way down further. Why? Because if you look at the candles, price action wick is below the previous wick. Price action body is below the previous body. So the resistance is working its way down, and the support is working its way down. And if it's only if it's denied, that means it's having a hard time breaking the previous um, second to last candle wick for the breakout to the downside that's why you're looking for price action body to break through the second to last candle and then finally break through the third to last candle if it works way down if not you're looking forward to do that on the top end of the second to last candle and then finally break out to that towards that third to last candle top of that body daily time frame price action bullish green candle so it's still consolidating within the second last candle. So we're waiting for the breakout. Now, if it's respected, you see a respect and create that W formation. If not, then it will work its way down for a push. Now we identified as a double top and a retest market came down. Very important information. Please review and study Forex pattern cheat sheet, breakout and retest strategy. Click on images. Okay, guys. GBP, JPY.